Why, hello. Hello, so since we are in the middle of summer, I don't really feel like making any big projects at the moment, but I want to make another video. Um, and I recently made these crochet earrings for my friend's birthday. I thought, why not make some for myself? Uh, they're going to be different from these just because I ran out of the materials that I used for those. But yeah, I, I might also make like a sunglass case as well. Basically, this is just like me making smaller crochet things because it is too hot for me to make something more substantial if that makes any sense the plan is i want to make three pairs of earrings uh i've been kind of in between designs but i think i'm gonna settle on these three do a like granny square option uh maybe have them like dangling in like offset colors uh i want to do an acorn with a leaf off of it just because I think that'd be cute. Um, and then lastly, I'm going to make some pumpkins. I understand that it is the middle of July and probably August actually when I'm posting this. Uh, so it's a little early for pumpkins, but I have really wanted pumpkin earrings for a very long time. So I'm going to do it anyway. So yeah, that's the plan. And then I'm just adding in a like sunglass case because honestly, I have needed one for a couple years now and i have been too lazy to actually make it so this is a good excuse so i have actually been working away on this for the last few days i have just been terrible at filming uh mostly terrible at deciding to film the intro to this so uh i will flash back to me working on some of these earrings uh, i think i'm actually gonna finish finish what's left of them today so you might see me at the end of the day but yeah let's go make some earrings shall we so here are some of the materials that you'll need first you'll need some pliers a small crochet hook i'm using a 2.75 scissors earring backs little jump rings a needle and then also some embroidery floss i would actually suggest using a different type of embroidery floss than the one that i'm using there's one that's like more spun together so it's a little bit easier to work with but i'm just using materials that i already have because i'm trying to keep this a very low cost project uh but yeah the first pair that i made was the acorn corn and leaf set. Uh, this was kind of in my planning phase and also um, this was pretty soon after I had had a little bit of a rough patch mentally. Uh, I had talked about it a bit in my last video um, just because I had received some comments that were affecting me and then also summertime is when I'm most affected uh, by the weather and can get some of my seasonal depression so I was in a bit of a rough patch. I'm still trying to work through it a bit but I'm doing better and working through this project really helped a lot uh, but I did notice while editing this that I maybe didn't look the most chipper I guess you could say um, but you know it's just the way it goes I still wanted to include this because I think the project is really cool uh, so yeah uh, basically I just started off first by crocheting a couple of acorns I stuffed them with leftover pieces of yarn just to make it so that if there are any holes like it would be a similar color that was poking through I did this over the course of a couple days just because again I was going through a bit of a rougher patch so it was taking me a bit longer to make decisions uh, but yeah I originally also wanted to stack them like behind each other where I'd have the acorn in front and then the leaf but then I realized as I was putting them together that that doesn't really work with this because the acorn fully covered the leaf so I ended up scrapping that and decided to hang them off of each other and then since I was already changing it to have them hang off of each other I thought that it'd be fun to have them be kind of a mismatched pair uh so yeah that is that first set this is also going to be a lot of voiceover Sarah just because again I was struggling a bit with filming and so it took me a while to finally decide to pick up the camera and actually talk about the project that I was working on and for a while I was a bit uncertain that I was even going to have this be a project but I stuck it out and I think that these all turned out really cool so again I wanted to share that. Okay so then the second thing that I made was the sunglass case because again I was feeling a bit uncertain so I wanted to make something completely different uh, just to mix it up. I couldn't decide for a bit what colors I wanted it to be but I ended up deciding on a white and green checkerboard pattern. I really like checkerboard so I thought that having my sunglass case be that would be very cute and green's one of my favorite colors so I thought that it sounded like a good idea. Uh, and yeah I just 
chained i think it was 10 uh and then i switched colors every five uh to keep the checkerboard pattern and yeah it was a really simple project i pulled out my actual sunglasses to make sure that the width that i had chained would fit and then i kept checking throughout the process to make sure that when i folded it it would be the correct length with a little bit extra so i could fold a little flap in uh and keep my glasses secure uh, but yeah it was a really easy project i ended up also using this orange yarn around the edge and the perimeter just to make it a little bit thicker um, and make it easier for my glasses to fit because also my regular glasses are a bit thicker than my sunglasses so in order to have space for those i wanted a little bit of extra on the side and orange is my other favorite color so so using those colors since they're my favorite just felt like a good idea uh yeah so that is that it was a really easy project i made it up in like a couple hours so yeah it was just a really nice easy project and it kind of helped get me out of my head a bit because again i was struggling a bit at this time to i don't know trust in my creative process i guess so then after the sunglass case i made uh some granny square earrings uh, i decided to modify the granny square a little bit just from its regular pattern because when i tried to do the regular double crochet uh stitches it didn't really fit well with how small the yarn was so i ended up doing uh half double crochets all the way around uh in clusters of three chaining two in between and then for the second row i did two uh, half double crochets with a single slip stitch uh, separating them uh, and i put two uh, half double crochets into each of the corners like two sets of two half double crochets into each of the corners uh but yeah and i wanted to have them again stacked with reverse colors and i like mismatch i think it's fun so i reversed them uh for each pair and yeah um <laughs> this is a lot of me talking in voiceover but uh we will make it through and i promise that the next video i will actually be talking a bit more um as i'm working on the process i just really needed to work on these without uh talking for a while just because again i was struggling but I, again i'm doing better i promise i promise i'm doing better all right so the last pair that i made was little pumpkins i absolutely love pumpkins and i love the fall time so i thought that it sounded nice to have my own pair uh with this i just chained I think it was I chained six and then went for ten rows uh doing half double crochets in the back loop only uh just so that it would create create these ridges and then I went around the perimeter and stitched it closed stuffed it um and then again went around the other perimeter and stitched it closed and then created a little stem with a brown embroidery floss and then also wanted a little green sprig like green vine coming off of it and crocheted that and stitched those all on and then those were the final pair of earrings Alrighty, so I have actually surprisingly done this project in a very timely manner. I have finished all of the earrings and the sunglasses case like I said I was going to. Uh, so let me show you all the finished earrings. All right, so first up I made the acorn and leaf earrings. Uh, I'm gonna put them on just because, I don't know, they look a little different on. Alrighty, and here they are on. I think they are so cute and so fun. I've kind of wanted some like, I don't know, more like whimsical uh, earrings. So having these that are mis mismatched <laughs> uh, with the leaf and the acorn, I think is super duper fun. Uh, yeah, let me show you another pair. So the last pair I made was these uh, pumpkins. So I'm gonna put them on now. Here are the pumpkins. I am, oh, I'm obsessed with them. I think they're so cute. I'm excited to have them for the fall. I know that it is probably August when I'm posting this, so I still have a bit of time before I can really break these out but i still think they are super super fun so and i'm excited to get some good use out of them uh and then i made one more pair all right and then lastly are these like granny square ones i think they are so fun just kind of embracing the fact that it is crochet and then you know if someone crochets and they see them out in the wild they'll like clock what it is i think it's super duper duper fun so yeah those are all of the earrings yeah those are all of the earrings and then i also made this little sunglass case for 
my sunglasses. Uh, I thought it'd be fun, you know, to have the checkerboard pattern and then the orange trimming around it just because green and orange are two of my favorite colors, uh, which I realized I think all these earrings are either green or orange. So, you know, I have a color scheme. <laughs> yeah, I know that these are like super quick projects and a much quicker video than what I have been making uh, but again just wanted to get back into the swing of things and also it's really hot so I don't really want to make a big garment uh, but yeah I think the next thing I want to try to make is a uh, like crossbody bag or a like fanny pack those the the um the crochet Uniqlo bag, I want to try and make that myself. So, or at least make one inspired by that. So, that'll probably be the next video, but we'll see whatever, I don't know, catches my eye next. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that is everything. So, if there's anything else you guys want to see me make or do, just let me know down below and make sure to like and subscribe, all that jazz. And yeah, I will see you all next time. Bye!